Well, originally today, I wanted to make kind of like more of a happy style video or something like that. I wanted to make, you know, a video maybe about Tyler Reddick, you know, really excited that, you know, he comes so close to getting his first win at Bristol while I was there. But you know what? Instead of talking about what I want to talk about, that being what's next for Tyler Reddick, I've got to talk about this YouTube channel I found here recently. And guys, I've been doing NASCAR YouTube now since the end of 2017, 2018. My channel has come a long ways from when I first started it. And I've put in a lot of time and effort to get to where I am at. And I am proud of my work to get here. And even now, we're only just now starting to see guys like myself, Eric Estep, Darian Gilliam, etc., getting media opportunities. In fact, my buddy Darian's been up at Indianapolis Motor Speedway today covering the IndyCar testing there along with David Land. And you know what? We're all doing really the best work we possibly can for the platforms that we have. And we're working hard behind the scenes to try to get more opportunities like this. But what I have a problem with is somebody just straight up stealing and uploading without any changes somebody else's work. And that's exactly what's happening on the YouTube channel, MSG Highlights. Now let's break it down here. Let's go into the depths of YouTube and NASCAR YouTube first before we get into my big issue with this particular channel. So yes, I am a NASCAR YouTuber. I've been doing this for a long time. And granted, you know, a lot of people say, Danny B, you just read racing reference. You just read Wikipedia articles. You just read articles. You know what? Hey, yes, a lot of videos I do have to go in to the history books to do research. But every single one of my videos, you guys might not know this, I do not read word for word off a Wikipedia article. No, I do, you know, oftentimes get a lot of information from Wikipedia. I'll admit that, but a lot of that same information I have to put into my own words, guys. So I take time and I write out my scripts and it can take days even to get it right because I, I got to put it to where the information makes sense to me. I got to put it to where it makes sense to you guys when I read it. That's one way to grow and start a NASCAR YouTube channel if you want to break into this NASCAR YouTube thing. Got, a lot of people ask me all the time, hey, Danny, do you have any advice? I want to start a NASCAR YouTube channel. First of all, I got to say just be you. But second of all, don't steal others work. Here's what you can do. And I've learned this because I, I accidentally kind of become this journalistic minded thinker that I am. I, I didn't study journalism or anything, but you do pick up these basic principles of journalism by doing what I'm doing. You can, to a point, use someone else's video, but you have to be transformative about it. You have to be able to add in your own commentary. Let's use an example. Hi, I'm Danny B. And today we're talking about this Alex Bowman incident. And here's a clip that Bob Pockeris had with Alex Bowman, played a clip, etc. That's how that would work. I have to give, you know, an introduction to that, then later after I show you guys that, then give you my thoughts. It's transformative. I've got credit to Bob Pockeris, etc. No, what this channel is doing, what MSG Highlights is doing is really, really wrong. And they are making money off this channel. They are from what I can tell, 95% of their videos are just straight up rips from Bob Pocker says Twitter videos. And that is just wrong. Bob has been in this business for a long, long time. He has worked hard to become one of the most legitimate reporters in all of NASCAR. He does not deserve to have his work, to have his interviews at the track straight up stolen and re-uploaded on a channel that he doesn't know about. And yes, he did not know about it. I had to inform him. So whatever happens, happens. I don't want to be a snitch, but this just ain't right, guys. If you want to do a NASCAR YouTube channel, do it right. Make it your own. And then maybe, just maybe, if you do this long enough, you might be able to get those opportunities. We see good guys like my friend Noah Lewis. He's out there at the track every week, and he's getting his own interviews with these drivers. Myself, I was able to do that this past weekend at Bristol Motor Speedway, and I was able to do that over at Atlanta Motor Speedway. I will do that at whatever track I'm able to get media access moving forward. I didn't even get the chance to do this at Nashville Super Speedway last year because there were still some weird restrictions on what the media could and couldn't do, where they could and couldn't go. Unfortunately, that did mean that those media pulpit interviews that you guys see after the races, those were not um, available at Nashville Super Speedway last year. So whenever I am covering the race at Nashville 
Speedway, Super Speedway this year, I'll be able to go in and do that and then present you guys the interviews taken at the track. That is what I had the privilege to do as a NASCAR YouTuber. As a NASCAR YouTuber, if you have media access, my thoughts on it, you should be going out and getting at the track content that's going to be beneficial for your coverage there that weekend to justify your reason to be there. But MSG highlights, I don't know who you are. I don't know what, I don't know what your goal is of this. But MSG highlights, what you are doing is wrong, my friend. You can't just take Bob Pockers' interviews and put it up as your own. Here's the kicker. Even if Fox goes in and gets those videos taken down and even gets that channel removed, they have a backup. I figured it out. There's another channel called Racing Matters, and they are doing the exact same thing, and they're taking interviews from others. Noah Lewis, although he puts most of his stuff on YouTube, I did find one where I could tell it was from his point of view. He put that video just on Twitter, and I confirmed this with him via Twitter messages last night. That video, I recognized the POV because I was standing just opposite of Denny Hamlin, and in that shot, you could tell it was where Noah Lewis was standing because I recognized exactly whose microphone that was and who was standing there. I visually remember who was standing there because I was there. So they did steal Noah Lewis's video and put it onto the Racing Matters channel. And they took a clip of an interview of Daniel McFadden and Alex Bowman. They took that from Twitter as well. And they put that onto the Racing Matters channel as well. What we are seeing is a dangerous slope for NASCAR YouTube. And it could backfire on hardworking guys like myself, like Eric Estep, like David Land, etc. Because we are, I don't, without getting into specifics, guys, we are in a weird state with NASCAR YouTube where we are just on the break of being able to give you guys more coverage. But channels like this are not going to help anyone on this platform. So I'm just saying this. I don't support this channel. I don't condone this type of behavior on this channel. And if I find any of my POVs being taken directly with no modification, I will probably have to initiate a takedown request on that channel if they take any of my content. Be on the lookout for some of your content if you are a journalistic reporter and you're watching this video. It is a dangerous time to be doing what I'm trying to do as a NASCAR YouTube reporter, whatever you want to call me. But this channel right here, MSG Highlights, and this backup, Racing Matters, that's just two channels I've found so far that have done this. I mean, it is not a good site. I'll just say that. Yeah, just to give you an example, I'm going to go through and kind of show you guys just real quick what I'm talking about on the MSG Highlights channel. Here is a video. I found this and I sent it over to Bob Pockers to confirm that this was his. And yes, it is. You can hear Bob talking in it. And, you know, just let you see it for a second. Shuggy. After uh, after you got your lap back, did you feel like it was I had a kind great of adequate? Car. I had a great car. The racetrack was fine. They just did a terrible job to start with. They've done this before, but obviously it doesn't look like it. But yeah, as you can see... I'm not very happy about this latest NASCAR YouTube channel that has come onto the scene. Uh, I, I fully support anyone who wants to make NASCAR YouTube great. Make your own original content, and you can be transformative. There is ways that you can use content, you know, even from NASCAR. But as long as you are transformative and you are turning it into your own original piece, your own original piece of work of your commentary, that's fine. You have to find ways to be your own. Take this from a guy who has 20,000 subscribers. I am a nobody. I'm just some guy from Tennessee. But 20,000 people have subscribed to my channel because they do want to hear what I have to say about NASCAR, whether it be NASCAR's past, present, and future. And that's what I want to do here on my channel, Danny B. Talks, moving forward. As you can tell here in the background, we are making a lot of changes here to the Danny B. Talks studio. I'm doing that because I want my content to be better. I want to be a better content creator, and I want to be a more credentialed a more you know trustworthy source of nascar media from the youtube spectrum i want to be able to help legitimize this platform as a way to report and cover on nascar however msg highlights you might mean well by putting out these videos but you are stealing my friend and that is not right those are bob pockers's videos those are noah lewis's videos those are daniel mcfadden's videos those are lots of other people, and you are just putting it out there 
as your own to make money on it. And that, that's not okay. Thanks for watching today's video. And I'm sorry it had to get very negative today, but I just had to put that out there. That's been bothering me for a little bit. Don't be like MSG highlights, please. There are lots of other great ways to make NASCAR content here on YouTube. Until next time, have a great day. Bye guys. Hey race fans, thanks for watching this video from Danny B Talks. If you're new to my channel, please be sure to hit subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss another video from my channel.